Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, I'm Steve Chapman of Fishing Florida Radio, and we thank you for watching this video. Got up, decided it was gonna go fishing. After last night's uh, live stream, I thought I needed to go fishing. So I went over to my good friends, T Craig and Aaron's house, and of course, it's chatterbait. I never realized how important this is to your arsenal until I just started learning it. This jackhammer with this smart bait trailer is about as good as it gets for it for me right now. I got out there and uh, started casting. Within just a few casts, I had uh, my first fish kind of went into the weed, so I took off my shoes and went in after it, not only to save my bait, but because I only brought one jackhammer, but more importantly, to save the fish. So I got that, got that fish off, probably a nice one and a half, two pound fish, maybe one and a half pounds, probably to be generous, and then started casting it again. It wasn't soon after, before, right at the bit, right at the shoreline, I thought I hit a tree or a stump or something. And I stopped it for a second, and I think the bait then decided instead of swimming, it decided to flutter down and gave it a different action. When that happened, old mama came up and swallowed her. And I wasn't ready at all for it. So I lost that one. And I continued to walk around this little pond that's really become just amazing. It's just a great little fishery. It's not too far from the house. I know I can catch fish, I have fun, and I get to practice and try new things. Like today, it wasn't all about just reeling in, reeling in the, the, uh, the jackhammer. I did some jigging with it. There was a couple fish I caught that I stopped the bait and let the bait flutter down. And then when I started it up, because there was a little bit different action to, or vibration to the, to the bait, I was getting hit right away. I mean, it, they were just thumping it. So. It's fun to go out there and try new things and learn. I brought other rods with me. I brought a frog out with me thinking that uh, maybe the frog would do well. And I brought a worm out with me, a DOA worm. But you know, you start off with something that you're confident in, confident in and you wanna know what happens, you just end up using it. So I walked around, I caught, I think I caught nine fish in 90 minutes and overall, just a really great day. I have to say thank you to Engel Coolers who sponsored today's fishing, fish catching episode, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Angle Cooler makes a great cooler. They're the first, the best, and they'll be your last cooler that you'll ever own. They're great for this one that I have. It's just a small one that I can throw in the back of the car, throw my drinks in, and they'll stay cool for the time that I'm fishing. They also make one like this, this is a live bait. If you're a, um, if you're a speck or a crappie or a sockele fisherman, Holy cow, did you, I wish you could have saw that. If you're a speck or a sockeye fisherman, they make these, make one like this that's that actually has an aerator too. So go check them out. Um, and of course, make sure you, you, uh, you subscribe, like, and comment, and click the notification button. And while you're at it, email us, tell us that you saw the video, and you want some free prize packs. They're free, we give them away. We appreciate you subscribing and that's our way of saying thank you. All you gotta do is email us, info at fishinfloridaradio.com or you can go directly to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash fishinflorida. Hopefully with this wind you're hearing me, I really don't know, but it was a good day and I appreciate, I appreciate Craig and Aaron letting me go out there and fish. Again, I was using, if you didn't know, a jackhammer, Corrado DC-150, only backlashed once, and it's super windy. Seven foot Invictus, Invicta 2. This is the light popping rod. So just ultra light tackled, seven foot long, great rod. Can't say more about it. 